Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septeria18. I have another do-it-yourself envelope style idea for you. Um, if you love making envelopes like myself, uh, this is a great easy uh, one for you. And it's a perfect way to add um, all your goodies or ephemera pieces, a letter, gift card or some cash if you would like to uh, gift a uh, somebody some cash as well as a, a letter or a note to go with it so it's also a great um, envelope style and i'm going to show you uh, two styles or two ways for you and you can decide which way you would like to make your envelopes uh, so these are the envelopes so i made them in two sizes for you and also i'm going to show the two different styles and the envelopes um, that i made were a style from a folio folder that I had shared with you and it's one of these ones and I think this is a, a fun little folio that I uh, put together um, I'll put the tutorial for you down below uh, this video if you would like to have a look so it opens up this way and there is a side pocket here and another pocket here and then it flips out this way to another side pocket and over here is that envelope that I'm going to show you so it's the same size as this one so if you haven't seen this tutorial um, and you make this envelope you could make that envelope to make it for to add on to this folio uh, folder so that's where I got the envelope ID from and then I also done another tutorial for a larger size for a four by six size um, it comes and opens up the same way with your side pockets and another side pocket here and this is a larger envelope pocket style for this size so if you want a larger envelope that um, I'm going to show for this one and you'll want this one I'll put that video down below so you can get the measurements for this envelope style and then the rest is exactly the same way to uh, put it together it's just this is a more larger size so you can see and I'll also put that tutorial down below and then I had some of you uh, comment on a notebook that was in this smaller size uh, this one here was a little booklet and you wanted to know if I'd done a tutorial or where you could find that video I'll put that uh, video down below as well in case you can't find it on my channel um, if you wanted to make the uh, booklet to fit inside your envelope <clears throat> so that's that one so this is the another one so I'll put that video uh, and the measurements for these booklets down below as well for you but let me show you these envelopes and then I'll give you the measurements and how to put it together so it's that same style envelope the only difference is I decided to add an extra pocket insert to go with the envelope so this is the envelope here and then you open this up and I just use a little square foam dot to keep as a closure and here is another little uh, pocket here that you could add um, your little note uh, some ephemera pieces or uh, a gift card may fit in here if it doesn't fit in here you can put your gift card in here or your cash notes that you may want to gift and then your card or your note in here and you just make the card uh, to fit inside your preferred pocket insert and then you've got yourself a two-in-one uh, gift card or um, your card with your cash or gift card in here so you've got a nice little packaged way to gift your cash notes and a letter so that's one way so there's that opening for the envelope and then there is this one and then the other one is this one here where I used some vellum and if you haven't got any vellum you can use um, papers of your choice as well so it will still work the same way I just thought with the vellum you'll be able to still kind of peek through the uh, vellum to see what's inside and that just opens up this way with the envelope so it has a more of a closure there for the back and then you've got your front pocket but this doesn't have the closure as this one it just has a double pocket one in there and one there and it just closes up like that I then decided to make another one more of a slim size longer size if you wanted to make something more longer and this measures three inches by five inches and it's the same as the other one it has a uh, opening and then your pocket in here 
and you can also add the vellum at the back here if you would like like this one so that's up to you if you wanted to add some vellum or extra paper to cover that and then this is the little smaller pocket for your smaller bits and pieces that you might want to add like maybe some tags or um, stickers so that's this one so i like this one too this is a nice long one and this would also make a great um a page insert in your journal and you can just glue this to one of your pages and then you can glue the three sides down the back to create another back pocket up here or a side pocket here and you can glue the three sides this way to create another side pocket so there's a few different options with that as well um, if you wanted to find a way to use it as a closure you can just add some string some twine create a belly band to make it as a closure for your um, the flat part of the envelope or you could just cut another piece of paper and then cut, fold that in half and then I could have rounded the corners where I've created the fold and then you can just uh, glue it down to the top of the closure part and glue that down on both sides to create a little tab punch a little hole here and then once it's all glued you've got the hole you can thread your uh, st string or your trim around the hole and then um, use that as a closure and then you've got this little extra little tab as a decorative piece to the envelope as well and you can also do one down here if you like if you want to add some more uh, another tab just using your scraps so that's another way to use as a closure um, so I'm going to show you uh, how to make it in these two ways and I'll also give you the measurements for the uh, longer slimmer pocket and these little uh, file tab note cards I also have a video on how you can make this really easily in in a few minutes and I'll put that video down below if you haven't seen that one as well um, okay so we'll make this one first we'll make this one here with the vellum and it's really easy to make this size you only need a six by six paper let me just grab my papers and i'll just also show you the papers i'm using or these um the papers i use to make these envelopes are from the uh, die cuts with a view tour by tour paper pad cotton fields so it's this one here die cuts with a view gorgeous papers I love the patterns in here so just in case you're wanting to know what I used for these envelopes okay, so I'm just going to grab my scoreboard and I'll just tell you the pieces of papers you're going to need so we'll start with the one with the vellum so you want a paper cut at six by six inches or use your six by six paper pads and a vellum piece at uh, three inches by five inches and to make this one here it's exactly the same paper sizes you'll need a six by six paper so i'm going to make another one a six by six paper and a piece of paper um, for the front part and that's also cut the same as the vellum size and that's at three inches by five inches so both of these are the same size, just depending which one you want to make. And I'll give you the measurements for this one now as well, so you've got your papers ready. This one here is a six, uh, sorry, uh, four inches by eight inches. And the little closure for your pocket here is a paper at three by three inches. So very simple measurements, four inches by eight inches. And another piece at three inches by three inches that's for the slim size and we'll go ahead and I'll give you we'll start making the one with the vellum pocket first <clears throat> so I'm just going to see <clears throat> so what we're going to do first the measurements are the same as what we made for the um, folio folder but I'll do it again in this video so we're going to first start um, with scoring at half an inch on both sides going in so half an inch on one side i'm going to turn this around and go again at half an inch now just i meant to also mention deciding on your direction of your paper just have a look at your paper so you want your paper to be at a direction that is going to be facing um 
the right way. So you might want to just have a look at that first before you do your scoring. So we've done your two score lines at um, half an inch on both sides. We're going to turn it around because my paper has no direction, so I'm, it doesn't matter which way I go. We are going to now score at one and a half inches and five inches. So uh, it was one and a half inches and five inches, and then the other two score lines going in at half an inch. Uh, you might not be able to see my score lines. Hopefully you'll be able to see the score lines on here. I'm just going to try and find the score line. So that score line that we had done at the uh, the sorry, I'm going to bring it back so you can see that score line that we had done at the five inch mark going down. You're going to see two little. Um, little panels up here we're going to remove those I should have used a different paper but there's my score line we're going to remove this piece and this corner piece if you get confused you can go back to the other video where I've done the folio and that also gives you the same measurements so that is um, the two little pieces removed. You're going to come down here and you're going to see that other score line that we had done at one and a half inches and that's going across. We are just going to angle cut that up to where we had done at half an inch score line. So you just want to do that and then we're going to go over to this side and do that same cut on the other side. sure if you can see that so that is now how your paper should look and I'm just going to grab my corner rounder punch I'm just going to fold this down first and I'm going to corner around these two corners and then I'll bring these two sides in and we're going to corner around these two corners. It just makes it easier to um, make the corner around. And we'll leave these two pieces closed. And we'll just put the envelope together, but we won't glue it down. So we're going to grab this piece and we're going to go up where we made that score line and we'll fold these and wrap these around to the back. So now it looks like an envelope with an opening which I like I like having that and double-sided paper is perfect because you get to see the other pattern as well so we've done that before we adhere that down we'll grab that piece of vellum that you had cut at three inches by five inches I'm just going to open this back up now and then on the longer side that's going to get placed inside the side flaps in there now if your paper is um, a little bit sort of it looks like it's warped and it's not sitting in properly inside the score lines just give that a little bit of a trim and I might just trim mine down a little bit just to make it easier just a little bit probably one eighth of an inch and then that should sit nicely in there now without it sort of warping and what we'll do we'll grab some glue and we are going to glue these two sides down. I'm sorry, we're going to apply some glue to both those sides and then we'll close it up. So now that's going to go in there and it'll sit just above that score line. And then we'll close that in and close that part in as well. And that will give you that pocket now at the back. And all we do now is we're just going to, once that's all not glued pretty well, you can bring this up and we're going to wrap that around to the back and we'll apply some glue to these two sides and that will close your envelope. And that will give you that front pocket now as well as your um, 
back part. I'll just use this one to show you. So now you'll have that front pocket there and you will have that part. And that's all there is to that. And then you can decide how you want to create your closure uh, once all of your pieces are all glued down and sealed. So that's that one done for this one. So I'll put that together. And now we'll make this one here with the uh, double envelope sort of pocket. We'll do the same measurements. Just go, go this way, do the same thing. We're going to go half an inch. I'll just turn that around the other way, half an inch. And then I'm going to go at one and a half inches and five inches. And then that part over here where we scored at the five inches, we're going to remove those two little. Uh, pieces out that's on the corner and then we're going to go along with that uh, score line at the one and a half inches if I can find it <laughs> it's here somewhere there it is there I'm just going to go in this down use your bone folder too to uh, press down the folds it just makes it easier sometimes I get lazy to use it but I should use it, it just makes it easier Okay, so now I'm going to fold this piece up for now, wrap that around. Put that to the side and then you're going to grab that uh, your preferred piece of paper at uh, cut the same way, 3 inches by 5 inches. And you can see I've got a bit of a direction here with my pattern. So what you want to do is uh, this part here where it's going to be the closure, just see where the pattern's going so you want this is going to be my closure so I want the butterfly facing the right way so when it goes in it's going to face right it's not going to be like that way so just have a look at your pattern first and once you've got that pattern at that right way I'm going to go this way now so you want your pattern sort of facing to the right so your directions to the right I'm going to lay that down on the three inch side and I'm going to score at one and three quarter of an inch. So it's one and three quarter of an inch and it's going to close down that way. And in this case, we're going to bring it to the front this time of where we had, where this part gets wrapped around, not behind this way. It's going to go in the front. And with this piece, you just decide how high you would like your front pocket to be. So I've allowed the measurements to give you uh, a preference. If you want to go up there, you can go all the way up there if you like. And you'll have a more sort of a more larger opening. You can bring it all the way down to the bottom there and just have it with just a smaller little opening. Or you can just go halfway. So you can play around with the depth of your closure so I've just allowed that amount of measure so I'm going to just corner around these corners now uh, that's at the front for the closure and what we'll do here we are going to get some glue and we're going to put some glue along the inside of that fold line and the side on the inside And then decide where you would like your closure to be. I'm just going to go halfway so I can still see that pattern as well. So I'm just going to go about there. So once you're happy with that, 
press that down and again just sort of uh, just see that if that catches on you can just trim a little bit off your one of the edge and now that's gonna get sealed I'm going to turn this to the back and then glue down these two sides These are perfect envelopes for junk journals as well. If you're into junk journaling, you can make these using your book pages, music sheets, tea dyed papers, any papers you really want. It will still work the same way. Your measurements, um, you can also decide on your measurements. So there is that one all done. That one. And then there's that one. And if you want to, you can also add another vellum piece at the back here if you wanted to. So then you can create another pocket there and then at the back will be another pocket. So that's another option if you wanted to add an extra insert. So those two are done. And I'll just do this one now if you wanted to make a longer size. And that is the two pieces of papers. Uh, the measurements was 4 inches by 8 inches and your front pocket will be 3 inches by 3 inches. Uh, I might have to use the longer scoreboard for this one. So this paper has a directional pattern as you can see. So just so you can decide so you want your direction of your paper going to facing down towards your right and then once you've got that pattern turn it upside down and we'll do these score lines this way just so it doesn't confuse you and i'm going to score at one and three quarters of an inch and six and three quarters of an inch so it's one and three quarters of an inch and six and three quarters of an inch and then turn it around it doesn't matter which way and we'll do the same score lines going in at half an inch half an inch and i'll just turn that this way half an inch and this will also have let me just show you so <clears throat> it's the shortest score line so this one's wider, sort of longer. This is more of the shorter side. You want to go to the one that's got the shorter side, which was scored at six and three quarter of an inch. We're going to remove those two little um, corner pieces. And then we're going to go down here where you made that score line at one and a three quarter of an inch and we'll do those little uh, cuts on the side and just the same process by um, folding this piece down and if you don't have a corner rounder punch that's fine as well. You can just angle cut your corners just sort of like that if you wanted to. And as well with this one, just sort of angle cut these a little bit. So you can still do that or you can just leave it without any of the corners um, uncut or not punched out. Still be fine. that and then we'll bring this up and then so you can just have it like that and have yourself just an envelope like that and not worry about adding another pocket but I like it to make it a little bit interactive by adding another one and that is this little piece here so with this piece you're going to line it on the through any side um, if it's not a directional paper and we are just going to score at one and three quarter of an inch. This is one and three quarters. And then that's your closure there. So that's going to get placed in there. So it's exactly the same as the uh, larger, the longer envelope. Around that. 
and then you decide um, how high you want your closure to be. So we'll open this up and I'll add blue to the inside of the score lines. And uh, also down below on my video, I have the link of what liquid glue I use. If you wanted to know what liquid glue I use, but it is only available in Australia. Uh, so unless you're in Australia, you won't be able to purchase that glue. But there are other glues if you are from other parts of the world that you could use. Um, this is just a all-purpose craft glue, but it can glue um, all sorts of uh, materials and fabrics. And it glues really well and it doesn't warp. It doesn't bubble and it glues down really quickly too. So I've just made mine a little bit. I'm going to just go down a little bit. And it still gives you time to, you know, um, adjust your papers to where you want it. So it's a really great glue and it comes in a large bottle. I just use a smaller bottle to um, put them in. So that's all done. Now I can close everything up once I'm happy with where I've got the closure. Just see if I've got the bottle here in front of me so you can see and I'll show you in a second. But there is now your a larger slimmer pocket if you wanted to make a larger size. I just think these are adorable. They're just lovely little envelopes. I think this is just another different way than just those standard envelopes that we have. And double-sided paper is um, a great way to use for these styles because you get to see both the patterns. And I'm um, great for all sorts of um, ways you could use for packaging. And I'll just quickly show you the glue just before I go. It's uh, this one here. I've been using this glue for many, many years. I just love this glue. As you can see, it says it bonds fabric, paper, leather, plastic, glass, dries clear. It doesn't warp. It doesn't bubble. It's um, a fantastic glue but it is only available at Spotlight here in Australia and they come in different size uh, bottles. I grab the large one and then I just fill them up in these little bottles uh, that I purchased from our uh, local variety discount store. But um, any, I think other good strong quality glue will also work for all of your paper projects. Um, but yes, this is my tutorial for this video, uh, making envelopes with extra pocket inserts in two styles. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.